<laughs> Not the day to do this, babe. Good morning, everyone, or whatever time it is. Oh, actually, I gotta start off the video with some piano for you guys. Um. That's all you guys get today, sorry, I didn't practice anything. So yesterday was an amazing day. We got our R33 in the mail. <laughs> but a lot of you guys have been asking for a house update, so I'm gonna quickly give you guys a little bit of an update. First, let me go ahead and show you my meat. That's some good meat right there. I gotta wait to get home to spank it and rub it a little more, but um, we're gonna actually be cooking this. I'm actually a beast at, at smoking meats now, just to let you guys know. I'm, I'm pretty, I'm a boss. So the living room is now a little bit bare. We ended up changing some rugs around. We're getting a custom rug made for this. Morning puppy, morning wifey. Look how fluffy he is. Actually, he's kind of lost some of his fluffiness. He just got groomed and they like blow dried him and he's just like crazy, crazy fluffy. It's so good. So we're still in the process of moving in. It's gonna be a process for a while for sure. Our carpet is now in here. I have an office that looks somewhat kind of like an office. In our dining room, we got a big carpet for in here so it doesn't look so bare. One more update, let me put some shoes on and um, really cool update for the garage. Just on that mega swag today, bro. Oh my God. Ooh, it is cold again. I wanted to wash my cars this weekend, but that's not gonna happen. Still need this lift installed, we're still waiting on that, but some really cool news is I got some 220 volt outlets. So this one's a 50 amp, just in case I get a big boy welder. And then I got one on the ceiling for my lift. So it's gonna go straight up. Very cool, really excited about that. Some big upgrades to the garage. It is insane how much money you can spend just leading up to getting your garage ready for a lift. It's insane, but it's definitely okay. And then we also went ahead and got a uh, this garage door opener right here. And we went ahead and got a 120 volt or whatever that is plug right there, just so we can always always be plugged in. So there we go. I'm already getting. Ugh. It's colder than it was yesterday. I'm already getting cold. Let's go pick up the R33. And we are back to the land of the JDM things. This car is cool. I put it on my Instagram story the other day. It's LS swapped. LS1. Just because you hate it doesn't mean it's not cool. Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. Man, look at, I don't remember seeing this little guy right here. What? This, is, this thing's kind of clean. Okay, so we trickle charged it overnight and it has literally no power. So the battery is dead, dead. Um, I think O'Reilly's in AutoZone has a battery now for Skyline since they're a popular thing in America. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the store and replace this battery back here because if I stall on the way home, I am screwed. Hello. Uh, I need a battery for a 1993 Nissan Skyline. So we got heat. Let's go ahead. What is um, 30 Celsius? What is Celsius? Hey! We're American. Trevor, what is Celsius? What's what's like 80 degrees? 80 degrees is 20, no, uh, yeah, 20, so 23 is 70 degrees. Okay. 28. 28. Maybe. Okay. 28-ish. AC is off. Damn, we got AC up in this. <laughs> Unfortunately, we, the, they didn't have the battery we needed. So we're gonna have to come back on Monday. We'll finish this video up. But I really want to. Uh, I need to. I need to drive. Isn't it so weird being outside? I'm, yeah. What? This is just so different. Right. I basically, I'm gonna go get gas, and then I need to know if this car has any like overheating issues. The last thing I want is to one like stall with a battery that's dead and not have a way to get home. But two, have overheating issues or something, and then you know ruin my motor. I'm gonna just do a little bit of the test, let it sit here and idle, maybe do a few spinnies, little donuts. Oh, like we haven't really even driven it yet, so we yeah, gotta drive so it. so I gotta, uh, ooh, what is in here, dude? A little, this little Siggy, bug. little Siggy lighter? Just in case you forget, that's, so yeah, that's how to drive. Isn't it so weird? So it's the exact same thing. The ooh, same positioning. It's still left and over for first gear. Like, you okay, can drive. Okay, question. This is, a good is it still clutch? Yes. So everything is the same, just on the other side? Yeah. Yeah, so, like, so it'll be, instead of going like, eh, 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 going out for me to shift up, I'm now coming in closer to me. So, oh, it kicked me out of second gear. This is so weird. <laughs> no, it's gonna be really interesting. That guy just broke his neck. Windshield wipers are now where my blinkers used to be and blinkers are now on the other side. Listen to this turbo. 
such a good sound, huh? All right, so now uh, to, to turn in here, blink it right here. Huh? Is it weird? Yeah. Are you a little weirded out? Yeah, my anxiety's a little crazy oh right God. now. Anxiety. Wait, where's the... All right. You hear how quickly that turbo spooled up? Stock turbo is gonna be fun. I might try and like progressively build this car up to where it's like stock turbo, max power on stock turbo, fuel this system, that sort of thing. <laughs> he doesn't know what's going on. Hey. You're looking at one of the first in America, baby. <laughs> Bro, how dope. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> I'm a child right now. It's so sick. <laughs> it's just so weird. I've driven right-hand drive cars before, but it's just it's something. Hell yeah, dude, send it. So you'll, I'm gonna have you drive this um, once everything's all good and set. Does defrost work? Make sure everything works. It's gonna be super weird. Like, you're used to hugging the left side of the lane. You now have to think about staying away from the left side of the lane because you're gonna take up two lanes. All right, so here we go. <gasps> I can't get grip. This case tires are terrible. <laughs> Oh. It's gonna just pull out. What? Pull out the no. It's fine, dude. It's fine. Please don't do that again. Why? I'm not in the mood for that right now. It was now. so fun. Can you do it one more time? Okay, it's so fine. Safe. It's gonna be so safe. <laughs> you still can't get grip. Can't. <laughs> These tires are great, dude. I'm so glad we're not driving at home today. <laughs> <laughs> I do want this to make it home. Oh, it will. Dude, this thing, this thing feels great. That turbo spools up so quick. And I like that I can hear it. So what are your first impressions? Um, I like it. It's different. Okay. It's really, it's throwing me off being on the wrong side. No, you're on the right side. You're on the correct side. I'm on the right side. <laughs> Whatever. Stop, please stop, please stop. <laughs> Not the day to do this, babe. Oh my god, it's so good. Downshifting's so freaking weird. <laughs> <laughs> Crap, and it's supposed to be icy when we come back. Good, that means more burnouts. It smells like a an what? antique store. Some like super old guy owned this car. He had to have been super old. I'd say, hold on. 73? He had to be like 73. Nah, I'm smelling like 50s. It doesn't seem to be overheating at all. We didn't drive it that long. Um, I don't know what kilograms per centimeter squared translates to an oil pressure. Is that a bar? No, there's no way that's four bars of pressure. Actually, no. I think, what is, is kilograms per centimeter squared bar? So, okay, so two, two kilograms force per square centimeter is equal to 1.9 bars. So, like, that's a little more than a bar. If I have four kilograms centimeter squared of pressure, that means I have, like, 3.8 bars of pressure. I really want to drive this home, dude. I wish I had a battery. I want it to be home. Ah! We, we, need to, we need this car We need a love, love on this. This car needs some love, dude. We can take friends to dinner in this car, too. I think we need to weld the diff in this baby. Oh, yeah. the diff in this? Hell yeah. How many drift cars do you need? It doesn't have to be a drift car. Oh, I thought you only It's got a that. factory delete button right here. I'll just put a nitrous button there, and then if I want to watch a movie on the way home, just like. It was working yesterday. I know. 28 degrees Celsius is too hot. Everybody in like the UK and like Europe and stuff like that's gonna be like, this kid's such a doof. He doesn't know what Celsius is. I'm sorry, we're dumb Americans. We're just silly, ignorant Americans. Oh, this is so fun, dude. I love this. We really need to clean this. God, this car is so cool. So, so cool. So, um, since we can't drive it home today, I borrowed the battery from the other GTR that's in here. I'm gonna go ahead and um, at least check for compression. These RB25s are known for either being good or bad. I'm dying to see the condition of the motor, and uh, I can't do a leak down here, but um, checking the compression will do a lot for us. Plus, I probably need to change the spark plugs anyways. I think I just found my new favorite daily, bro. <gasps> Wait, does this have cup holders? <gasps> it has cup holders! Oh my god! Oh, they're aftermarket. They're aftermarket and they come out bro. that's JDM as hell. That's actually JDM bro. That's actually Japanese as I didn't actually curse. I just wanted to put that in there because it was fitting. Let's get back in here 
<laughs> I love driving this car. All right, before we get this guy home, let's check the compression. Oh my God, do I have to take off the entire upper oh, yeah. charge pipe for this? Um, oh my God, Japan, why'd you do me like this? Okay, so pulling the fuel pump relay or fuse so that we can crank it over and check the compression. There's a panel here with a bunch of fuses and relays. There's a panel here right under the feet. You can barely see, you can't really see it, but it's under there. And then there's another one right by the battery that's very hard to get to, but it's right here. And it sucks. Did you end up tweezing yeah, it out? I got it and then it, and then it went, it went by. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Alright. 15 minutes of unnecessary labor to get that off. Okay, so not the most comforting, amazing thing, but not also not that bad. There's a bunch of oil on the spark plug, but um, we'll see. I'm noticing there's some blow by as well on this little guy right here. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and check the first cylinder's compression. Keep going, keep going. Yeah, keep going. Alright. That's like 125. Yeah. That's 125 for sure. Okay. Almost on the dot. And we probably could have cranked it a little bit more. And there might actually seem like there's a little bit of a leak. But uh, that's good. What we're going for is even. Even is good. Go ahead. Okay, go ahead and stop. That one's right below 125. Cylinder, cylinder six. Yep, I'm ready. Oh yeah, baby. Woo! Go ahead. This one's actually 130. Really? Yeah. Good. Hell yeah, dude. Spark plugs are changed. I'm gonna leave it how it is because I'm gonna be real honest with you. We were talking about ramen noodles like an hour ago and now I'm really hungry. So I'm gonna come back with a <laughs> license plate. Mmm, fuel smell. Mm. And enough stuff to like at least get me home without hopefully having any issues with the law, and um, come back and bring the car home. I loved just driving this around. It broke some necks, and dude, I really, I honestly just cannot wait to dive into this thing. I've bonded a little bit with the RB25 tonight, but uh, I can't wait to really, really do some stuff. I'm really excited, the compression is good. Um, I still would like to do a leak down test just to make sure. I'm seeing a lot of blow by, so you know, I do wanna make sure that everything is sealed up correctly and you know, not having any problems. It does seem to have a little bit of oil burning stuff at an idle, but uh, you know, that might be something super easy that we can fix. Again, a big thanks to uh, Trevor at JDM Buyer and RB Motoring. I have the links for you in the description if you want any parts for your cars. If you actually want to import a car, the 33 sedans are legal. They can do that for you. It's super easy. It's a simple process, so I want you to um, check them out. We'll have to catch you later, little R33. Can't wait to drive you home. I literally loved driving this thing on the street. I think I have my new, my new favorite car. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode. One thing you guys can do for me is I want you guys to follow my Twitch. I'm getting back into streaming since my internet is actually good enough to do so. I wanna go ahead and get a partnership and stuff like that because I love, love streaming. So if you guys can, go ahead and go to the link in the description and follow my Twitch. Also, I just wanna wish everybody a good day. At the end of each video, I give uh, daily advice. So my daily advice is, that's uh, actually a verse out of uh, Proverbs. It says, a heart at peace gives life to the body but envy rots the bones. It's very important because in this world you see like, this world is just surrounded by famous people. It's so bad for you to envy someone. So and it, it'll, it'll rot you to the core, it'll rot you away. So focus on yourself, be at peace, just be happy with the situation you're in. Don't wait to be happy because you're never gonna find it if you're waiting. Anyways, that's it, that's my advice for the day. I will see you guys Wednesday. Love you all, bye. Two videos, baby. Watch them two videos. What that drifting video is so freaking cool. You guys have to watch that. Like warehouse drifting, abandoned, what? And then the other one's a little bit of a story about my life. It's about me getting fat. Oh, it's fine.